In the modern medical community, it's very important to understand the basic mechanisms of the disease. The ways that we diagnose disease and the ways that we treat disease are dependent on the major mechanisms. The mouse biology program, by being able to manipulate the mouse genome, allows us to have these very exact diagnoses and potential treatments in the future. The Mouse Biology Program is one of the most unique programs of its kind in the world. Its mission is to derive, develop, and disseminate mutant mouse technologies in the post-genomic era. We meet this mission by having more than 100 well-qualified scientists and staff who conduct molecular construct design, genetic analysis, embryonic stem cell manipulation, microinjection, cryopreservation and recovery, in addition to numerous phenotypic characterizations. We are part of an international effort to uh, knock out various genes of the, of the mouse's genomes. The results are BC Davis has, has taken, in many respects, the lead in many of these programs. The Mouse Biology Program is so unique in that it provides the scientific knowledge, the technical capabilities, the veterinary and medical expertise all in one location and dedicated to using genetically altered mice to understand and resolve biological questions. The genome of the mouse, uh, surprisingly, is very similar to the genome of the human being. Genes exist in similar locations within the genome and have similar functions, and, and if you alter those genetic functions, you get what are called different phenotypes expressed, and those mimic human disease. Mice can be used in ways that other animal models can't. One of the examples of this is our physiological monitoring systems that look at the mice minute by minute as they go through their days. And we can overlay that with changes in environmental conditions, and in addition, we can manipulate their genes. It's the combination of environment, genes, and comprehensive uh, surveillance of physiology provides us with something that's really hard to duplicate. To make a genetically altered mouse, we use a combination of molecular techniques to identify and target genes for modification. These techniques enable us to very specifically alter how the gene will function in the mouse, resulting in some change in how the mouse develops and lives, how it responds to different diets and environments, and in whether the mouse develops a disease or behavioral abnormality. By being able to manipulate single genes, we're able to reveal pathways that we wouldn't be able to in humans. Once a clinician has completed a project with us in the mouse biology program, he or she can take that back to the clinic and using the information that he's learned from the research, apply that to diagnoses or therapy that they will apply to a patient. I think the unique aspect of the University of California Davis is our dual perspectives of veterinary and medical expertise looking at these. So these animals are not only well developed and well characterized, but they're well maintained. Mice are maintained in an environment that provides for their every need, food, water, bedding, veterinary care, to keep them safe, well cared for, healthy, and protected from infectious pathogens and other problems. The facilities that we have here at UC Davis are part of a teaching institution and they're open to students at all levels, professional students and even the, the faculty themselves can come in here, sit side by side with the technicians and professional people within the program. The Mouse Biology Program has worked with research scientists from around the world to study a variety of diseases. Some of those diseases include heart disease, Alzheimer's, obesity, diabetes, cancer, immunological disorders, and far more. We also have NIH funding to support the Mutant Mouse Regional Resource Center, or MMRRC, at UC Davis, which for the last 11 years has archived thousands of mutant mouse lines generated by research scientists around the world. The Mouse Biology Program has been in existence for over 10 years, and during those 10 years, we've provided over 9,000 products and services to over 2,000 investigators and over 500 institutions in 30 countries. We hope our impact in the field is that we are going to lead in technology development and also efficiency and quality in terms of the animals that we produce. 
I expect a real acceleration in the future in the amount of information that can be used for biomedical research. We should be able to inform the biotechnical industry and the pharmaceutical industry about which direction to go in and they in turn will interface with the clinicians to provide better therapies in the future.